Neanderthals, our close human relatives, exhibited remarkable hunting skills, which may have extended to taking down the formidable European cave lions, as evidenced by fossil records. The cave lion, Panthera spelea, roamed the European landscape alongside Neanderthals, often competing for similar prey and living spaces. In Germany's Siegsdorf, paleontologists discovered a cave lion skeleton with markings that suggest Neanderthal interaction, possibly indicating hunting or scavenging. The muscular build and sharp instincts of Neanderthals made him adept hunters, capable of strategizing and coordinating attacks on large predators. Neanderthal tools found at various sites often include spears and cutting instruments, which could have been effective against the thick hides of cave lions. Cave paintings and artifacts from the period show a deep reverence for the cave lion, hinting at a complex relationship between the species and Neanderthals. The risks involved in hunting cave lions were significant, suggesting that Neanderthals may have hunted them for cultural or survival imperatives. Isotopic analysis of Neanderthal bones has revealed a high-protein diet, supporting the idea that they consumed large carnivores like cave lions. Comparative anatomy suggests that Neanderthals had the physical endurance necessary to engage in close-quarter combat with large predators. The social structure of Neanderthal groups would have allowed for coordinated hunting efforts, which could have included cave lions as targets. Cave lion remains found near Neanderthal habitation sites often show signs of butchery, not typical of natural death or predator kills. Neanderthal weaponry, crafted from wood and stone, was sophisticated enough to inflict lethal damage to cave lions, indicating a potential predator-prey dynamic. The discovery of cave lion bones in Neanderthal living areas may point to the use of their pelts or bones for symbolic or utilitarian purposes. Analysis of sediment and fossilized feces suggests that Neanderthals and cave lions may have competed for cave shelters during harsh winters. The cognitive capabilities of Neanderthals, evidenced by their tool-making and hunting tactics, would have been critical in outsmarting cave lions. Injuries found on Neanderthal skeletons sometimes resemble those caused by large feline attacks, implying dangerous encounters with cave lions. The strategic location of Neanderthal encampments, often at vantage points, could have been used for monitoring cave lion movements. Paleontological evidence indicates that cave lions had fewer natural predators, except for human species like Neanderthals, who had the means to hunt them. The coexistence of Neanderthals and cave lions during the Upper Paleolithic era presents a picture of ecological interaction and potential competition. Traces of cave lion DNA found in Neanderthal archaeological sites suggest that they might have consumed these animals or used the parts. Neanderthals' understanding of their environment, including the behavior of predators like cave lions, was crucial for their survival and hunting success. Meticulously crafted Neanderthal spear points found in Europe could have been designed specifically for large game like the cave lion. The decline of both Neanderthals and cave lions around the same time suggests a shared vulnerability to environmental changes and human pressures. Fossilized Neanderthal footprints alongside large feline tracks in some caves provide tantalizing clues of direct interactions. The robust nature of Neanderthal skeletal remains indicates they had the physical prowess to engage with large mammals, including cave lions. Some cave lion fossils exhibit cut marks that match the stone tools Neanderthals used, suggesting they processed these animals after death. Neanderthal groups may have revered the cave lion, as their remains are sometimes found in what appear to be special, possibly ritualistic, arrangements. The overlapping geographical ranges of Neanderthals and cave lions in Europe created opportunities and necessities for interaction, including hunting. Survival imperatives in the harsh climates of Ice Age Europe would have driven Neanderthals to exploit all available food resources, including cave lions. The potential hunting of cave lions by Neanderthals is a subject of ongoing debate, as conclusive evidence remains elusive and speculative. Evidence suggests that Neanderthals could have used large animal traps, which might have been employed to capture cave lions, although no direct evidence has been found.
Studies of wear patterns on Neanderthal tools indicate they were used to work on tough materials, consistent with skinning or butchering large animals like cave lions. The spatial distribution of cave lion fossils and Neanderthal artifacts implies a complex ecological relationship that might have included predation or competition. Neanderthal mythology and cave art may reflect interactions with cave lions, depicting them with a mixture of fear and admiration. The extinction of cave lions and the decline of Neanderthals coincide with the arrival of modern humans, who may have competed for the same ecological niches. There is still a lot more that needs to be investigated and we will keep you updated. Please like and subscribe our channel for more info. Thanks for watching.